Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another hair video for you. Today I'm going to be styling my short haircut. If you are someone who does have longer hair, I do have another video which is over here. You can also click, I think on this side here, it'll take you straight there. So I've been wanting to share how I style my short hairstyle because I think shorter hair is a little bit, it can be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging. I don't know, that's personally me. So, also if you are interested in like knowing how I did this makeup, I have been really frequent on TikTok lately. Here's a little snippet of me doing my makeup. Just go ahead, go like, go give me a follow, give me a like, and um, I'm trying my hardest. <laughs> The way I'm going to style it today is a bit different than I've styled it before. I just find that it works better for me. So let's get on to the video. So let's bring out our dryer. My cat has a new toy and it's so crunchy. Let's take this off. Woo! <laughs> just going to brush your hair through. I also cut my fringe myself the other day. Um, I will link the video in the description below. It's also a TikTok. Honestly, it's simple, but sometimes when you just don't have the time to go into the hair salon just for a little fringe trim, I just find that it works best. Okay, so first thing is we are gonna put some heat protectant spray. I'm using still the Tresemme heat protectant. I just find that it works the best. It also smells nice. I will also link this down below for you guys. And I'll focus on my fringe. Cause I know we're gonna do that a lot. And then just on the ends of my hair. <laughs> it does smell nice though. And yeah, so. Let's get to blow dryer. This blow dryer is actually my sister's. It's also from Tresemme. So the way I like to dry my fringe is just like kind of blow it down and do this so that it has a bit of movement. And then I'll fluff it around while I'm drying it. It's just the best way. And we're gonna do it about 70% dry. When it's almost 70% dry, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this Moroccan oil. It'll just help kind of treat um, the split end of my hair and all that stuff. And I just apply it to the ends. You do not have to use oil, it's a preference. Any of the products that I use, you don't have to use it. it, it is a preference. What it does is the hair oil will just help bring back moisture and nourish your hair, especially if you are using heat. Also, this particular product smells really, really lovely and I have been using it for the longest of times. I just find it works best with my hair. And then we're just gonna keep blow drying it until it's almost quite dry. I'm not using a round brush today and that's only because I don't have a round brush. If you do have a round brush, at this time, I will use a round brush whilst you're like trying to blow dry your hair. It would just kind of help get the shape that you want anyways. But since I don't have that, we're gonna do this with a hair iron. I'm loving PG Tips tea lately. It's so British. I'm not even British, but it's so, it's just so delicious. I can't, I drink a few of these a day. And I haven't been drinking coffee for like over a week now. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's get to styling the hair. To style my hair, I'm going to use this flat iron, which has a little bit of a curve to it. Um, this is also by Tresemme, and it's also my sister's. Okay, I just moved from the other side of the world, okay, and I'm still buying my own things, but my sister has let me borrow her stuff. Um, I mean, what else are siblings for, right? <laughs> so let's just wait for this to heat up. Let's just brush our hair again. Do you see how, like, shiny the hair actually looks. I mean, I think it also maybe helps the kind of shampoo I'm using. 
if I'm not mistaken. I think it's also Tresemme. This video is not sponsored by Tresemme. I, I swear to God. It's just, it just happens to be just really good. I will show you my shampoos over here. And I'll also link it down here. There we go. I don't know, my hair just looks really, really good and healthy ever since I stopped dyeing it. I'm not gonna lie, I do miss, I do miss my hair dye, but I also am living for this dark hair. And now I'm gonna section the hair. I think the easiest way is kind of put these longer parts behind the fringe, kind of bring it forward. So you know that this is what you're gonna work with a little bit later. Any kind of hair clip. I just have this bright blue one. Again, I'm gonna just put my hair in half. Oh, my hair feels so soft. Okay, so you have just one part of your hair. I'm just gonna brush it through. Yes, honey. Oh, you left out. Let me. So what we're gonna do with the hair iron is we're just going to, at least in this bottom half, we're just gonna flatten it and then kind of pull it out like this. Kind of like a backwards J. I guess this one's an actual J. And then once we have that, just keep doing it section by section. Like a J, like a J. Here I'm just kind of like giving it a bit of volume and then again, just pushing it out. And then once you get to the fringe, to be honest, I kind of like how it looks today, but I will just kind of give it a little, I'm gonna just curve it a little. And now we're just gonna do like the final touches. I don't know, it's giving me like Alice from Twilight. What do you guys think? And then I'll do a little this to just give it a bit more volume. And now we're gonna use, I don't usually like to wear a lot of product, but I'll use a little bit of a harder oil on the end. And that's just kind of like for more styling purposes. It's a Japanese brand, so I'm not actually gonna be able to link it below because I don't think they actually sell it. I mean, I can see if I can find it, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to send it to abroad. And then yeah, you just kind of like squish it, move it around. And again, I like to wear my hair either like this or I will just put it behind my ears, which also looks pretty cool. And again, it's just got that kind of like movement, so. I'm gonna do a little 360 for you guys. In case anybody wants to ask the hairstylist, for this hairstyle. I literally just kind of asked for a very short wolf cut slash shaggy hairstyle. That's why I have a lot of layers, which is possible to do all these kind of fun things. Yeah, like I said, I cut my own fringe, but you can also just, I think, just show this to your hairstylist and they should be able to do it. Anyways, I hope this video was useful. I know that I love watching hairstyling videos and you guys really seem to love my hairstyling videos, which is fun. <laughs> so, I will be doing, I think, a few more hairstyling videos because I do wear my hair in different ways. So please watch that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share this with a friend, especially if your friend also has short hair. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see, what kind of hairstyles. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.